Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director Ash, good to see you. I, uh, I have so many questions for you that I could, I could spend the next three days asking you questions. So we're going to submit a number for the record. And um, if you can try to answer these succinctly, uh, that'd be helpful so we can get through at least a couple in the five minutes that I have. Um, first, I, I just want to talk uh, about the Alaska National Interest Lands Conservation Act. Are you, are you familiar with ANILCA? I am? Great. Um, there's a lot of Alaskans who, who actually don't think your agency is that familiar with ANILCA because uh, there's a strong sense in my state that your agency continually violates that important act. And to Senator Whitehouse's comments, I'll tell you this, today's, act, today's hearing, but more your actions, would bring great dismay to one of Alaska's great predecessors in the U.S. Senate, Ted Stevens, who crafted ANILCA, knew it was a finely crafted balance, and yet it's being ignored by your agency, um, I think, on a daily basis. Let me give you the latest example. The President's recent announcements on the 1002 area of ANWR. As you know, the coastal area of ANWR, the 1002 area of ANWR, very important place, laid out in ANILCA, whole chapters on it in ANILCA, and critical that the federal government was tasked with either looking at developing it for oil and gas, looking at the resources there, recommendations to Congress, or perhaps someday making it a wilderness. But do you think that there's any other branch of government in the federal government that has the power to either develop uh, the 1002 area for oil and gas or make it a wilderness besides this body, Congress? No, I do not. Okay, so then how can the President of the United States a couple months ago say he's going to submit a bill to make the 1002 area wilderness, which is fine. He has the right to do that. It's got to be approved here. It won't go anywhere. But then in the meantime, say, I'm going to, quote, manage the 1002 area for wilderness anyways. That's what he said on Air Force One to big fanfare. How can he manage the 1002 area for wilderness when you don't have the authority to do that? Can you explain that to me? This is a huge issue for my state. And I think you're violating the law. I think the president's violating the law. How, how do you do that? The, um, the, what we have How said. do you manage? No, this is. We, we have answer. order. We, we have order already. I let him answer the question. All right. Stop the clock and give him a few more, uh, at least one more minute. All right. How do you manage the 1002 area for wilderness when you don't have the authority we, to designate wilderness, the 1002. Go read Anilka. There's not a lawyer in this town who thinks your agency has this authority. Well, there are lawyers in the Interior Department who uh, who agree very much. M Mr. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, we, we are managing the 1002 area as we are managing it today for what we call minimal management. No agency, Republican or Democrat, has ever said they're going to manage the 1002 area for wilderness with the exception of yours? First um, time ever. We are managing the 1002 area to protect the wilderness value that, I that is represented there. That's our duty. Let me ask a question, a follow-up question. Mm -hmm. If there's a president in 2017, he's a Republican, he submits legislation to uh, develop the 1002 area for oil and gas development. It doesn't go anywhere. It's a tough issue. Can that president say it's President Cruz, President Rubio, President Paul, can that president say, I'm now going to, quote, manage the 1002 area for oil and gas development? The, um, we have produced a comprehensive conservation plan. No, no, just can you answer that question? The president would have, we would have to change our conservation plan. We have, we have gone through the lawful administrative process of developing a comprehensive plan. Not to if you're designating 1002 as wilderness without congressional approval. We have a comprehensive conservation plan for the management of the refuge, which has been developed through a public process. Can a president in 2017 manage the 1002 area for oil and gas, even through a comprehensive management plan? No. Can a president now manage 1002 area for wilderness? The president The is answer not. has to be no, if you said no to the other Sir, question. The president is not managing. He said he was going to manage. The, the president, president said he was going to manage the 1002 area for wilderness. The president. He doesn't have the authority to do that. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service is managing 
the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Now, the 1002 area Under, is different. Look no, at Anilka. The 1002 area is part of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. The law it makes no distinction um, between the 1002 area and the it remainder of the It makes a refuge. huge distinction. There's an entire chapter called the 1002 chapter in Anilka. That's which, why it's called the 1002 which, area. Which There's a gigantic distinction. The 1002 Director Ash, I think that your agency has been violating the law. I have so many other questions, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we'll submit them for the record, but um, this is incredibly disturbing. And a whole host of different Anilka sections. I'm going to ask one more question, Mr. Chairman, if I may. Yeah, Senator Sullivan, you have another good minute because you were interrupted. Please go ahead. So in Alaska, there's a provision, what we believe is the, quote, no more provision of Anilka. Do you believe that that exists? Do you it does exist. Okay, and so the no more clause says there should be that Anilka, according to Ted Stevens and others, was a finely balanced designation. We have almost 60 million acres of wilderness. We have state parks that are bigger than Rhode Island, individual state parks. We have a lot of wilderness. We love our wilderness, but we don't think there should be any more, and neither did the Congress. Do you think that there can be any more wilderness managed, designated, or otherwise without the express permission of this body? The... Um there can be no designated wilderness without uh, the uh, without uh, congressional action. Then how can the president of the United States say he's going to manage the 1002 area for wilderness? The 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 he's president. Not, he can't. The president has said the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is going to manage the refuge to pro to protect the wilderness value that resides there. We have ample authority to manage the refuge in a way that preserves and protects its wilderness character. That does not mean it's congressionally designated wilderness. We have gone through a lawful administrative process. Are you familiar with 1002E of, Anil of Anilka? Uh, not the number, no. That's the one that says there are exploration plans that have to be approved by the secretary in the 1002 area. The state of Alaska put together a, an exploration plan under that provision you rejected it. Why wouldn't you want to work with the state of Alaska on a plan like this? Mr. Chairman, I will uh, submit the additional questions I have Thank for the record. You. Thank you, Senator Sullivan. Thank you, Senator.